Hey everyone, um, welcome to today's video. Um, so as you could first probably tell, um, I am sick. So I do have a little bit of a cold, um, but I wanted to kind of power through and get a video recorded for you guys. Um, I am playing part two of The Devil and Me. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to see where this uh, continues on when we left off on the last, actually the stream we did. Um, we were like just went to dinner or we tried to have dinner with uh, Dumont and we realized that he left us um, and I figured that was probably a really good place to stop because we were going to start exploring the house a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead. Let's get started. Let's go. I'm crying. Hello? Guys? Is that you? Use R to aim the directional microphone to find the source of the noise. Okay. Definitely coming from this way. Super loud right here. like right on the other side of the wall. Put that away. This right. Oh. Breathing techniques for emergencies. In earlier chapters, we looked at how abdominal breathing could help build resistance against anxiety. Practicing technique techniques such as tumo or pre pranamia <laughs> for just twenty minutes a day has been shown to build a buffer against stress over time. But sometimes when sudden anxiety or panic attacks sit in, you need a t quicker techniques for the moment. This is what we'll be exploring in this chapter. For the first, these five for five technique, or the, the five for five technique. Find a seat that's as comfortable as possible and loosen any restrictive clothing. Breathe in gently through your nose for five seconds. Try to breathe into your stomach, but don't worry if you can't. Breathe out through your mouth for five seconds as if you were blowing out a candle. Repeat this for five minutes until you begin to feel calmer. 
Note, some people find it helpful to picture a relaxing environment whilst they breathe. I like to imagine floating through space, discovering new planets far, far, or far away from Earth. What m- might your relaxing environment be? Five minutes. Or just put your headphones on. <laughs> think anything's gonna happen for them. Oh. Yes. H.H. Holmes when he's being executed. There's something there. You don't see that? Okay. Almost like right here. Heck, is that a crow? Anything that was going on? Just walking in a circle? Heck? 
about that. I don't trust this. Oh my god. Oh no. Calm breathing techniques. We learn this in the book. Did I just kill my first character? <laughs> oh, damn it. Breakers. Chords? Shit. Hello? Mr. Demet? This is zero four. Five one. I'm going back down somewhere. So it's four five one. Stranger sun. Pull has changed. Digital lock. Yeah, Richardson, Will and Life Insurance Specialist. Mr. and Mrs. Edwards. East Third Lighthouse. Eligible. Lake. Eligible. Date August 3rd, 2000. Yeah, 2011. Dear Mark and Jennifer. Oh. Excuse me, I was reading that. Okay, well. Might be time to join the 21st century, guys. I really like that they give you like a um, lock like icon so you know that's Great. Enter the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. <sighs> choices, Jamie. Make better choices. This is your own damn fault. This? Enjoy your memorabilia. Dude, Ben at Killer Familia. H.H. H. Holmes authentic hat. Authentic original hat was worn by H.H. H. Holmes in famous photographs. $24,000. Dang. Sorry, guys. Uh, 
nothing in here. $838,000. Okay. There's a code on this thing. Is it zero? Or... God, something from this century. Oh, this is the room we were just in. Heck. Why is it locked? How are we looking, Jamie? Me? Little electrical drama, but we're about good to go. This looks great. Very gaslight. Mm, if we had a grip of some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Shouldn't be more than a few minutes. Uh, curious or proving? Oh, God. Hey, thanks for that stuff you said at dinner. It was nice to hear. We're all on the same side. Sometimes we forget. What, what the hell? Rest, okay. girl. We're right here. You're not hurt, are you? Just open the door. Move. Move, Charlie. We're here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Count your breath. One, two, three, in. Come on, One, girl. Two, three. Deep breathing. Out. 
We need to break through this thing. <sighs> Guys, I, I, I can't. Don't look because it's not the door down. Me and Mark will try and force it open. in here with, with me oh god they just think I'm super panicky oh my inhaler I feel like this is a trick but she also really needs her inhaler take the inhaler Got it, girl. Hey. You're okay now. You're safe. What? Did you see him? Come on. <laughs> he... He was... Somebody was right there. In there with me. Eric, it's just a dummy. No, it was not a dummy. He... He had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show? I did not. Nothing bad happened, Erin. You're okay. No one is in there. Let's all just calm down, get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come on, Erin. So they all just think that she was panicking too much? I wonder if there's a way to, like, make it so they don't think that she was just panicking and believe her. Oh. Hello, curator. Ah. There you are. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck, wouldn't you say? Sure. Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Oh, no. Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude mm -hmm. not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. The road ahead is full of challenges. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. On their own? They can't make choices on their own without me. Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. Oh, relax. I'm serious. Everything about this is off. Kills me to admit it, but Kate is right. Somebody tried to attack Aaron. We don't know that's what actually happened. I know what I saw. In the dark. You think I'm making this up? Everyone relax, OK? Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. And exit stage left, our oh-so-confident and sure leader. What was that? Breaking things now? Charlie is thinking. Which looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying. been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now this is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? Sorry, maybe I'm crazy, but if Erin says somebody came for her, I believe her. 
We're not safe I here. I believe her, it too. It was just a dummy. You think I'm lying? Really? I think maybe you're just confused about what you saw in the dark. I know what I saw. Right. <sighs> Here's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. <sighs> we cannot jump to conclusions. I'm going to go and find Dumet and get clear on everything. Everything is going to be fine, OK? And we're going to get the footage we need. He didn't show for dinner. What makes you think you can find him now? A positive attitude. You should try it sometime. Rude. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great yeah. plans. Demet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. <coughs> I'm going. I'm coming with you. Wait. Do you have to go? I'll be right back. Promise. Just stay put so I know where to find you, okay? I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Okay. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? <sighs> Aaron saw someone. Okay, you're right. Sorry. It's just Charlie said... We're not safe here. That outweighs having a damn job. You're right. Let's go, Aaron. Everything's gonna be okay. Why are Wait they here. splitting up? Can't you just yeah. stay here while I pack up my stuff? I don't want to waste any time. I'm right around the corner. Let's all be quick. We'll be right back. I promise. No, don't. Uh, sorry, just still freaked out. Can you leave it open so you guys can hear me? Of course. Okay, genius. Where are we going to look first for Demet? I'm not looking for Dumet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. So Jesus. all he cares about? You really don't care about anything else, do you? Of course I care. Tell that to Kate. You know as well as I do, if we're set up and a camera is rolling, she'll want to be in front of it. <sighs> Asshole. Anything else? Check all these PTs. Locked yet. What the fuck is happening, well Charlie? Done, dude. I, I don't know. That doesn't make me feel better. Paper. From Grantham Dumet to Joseph Morello. Mr. Morello, good evening. Thank you for allowing me to contact you directly. Your publisher said that you were very keen to hear from me. It seems we have a mutual interest. I've spent years constructing the ultimate homes tourist experience by faithfully recreating the World's Fair Hotel. We have not yet opened to the public as there are finishing touches to complete and I consider a man of your knowledge could provide insight that is invaluable before our official opening. Therefore, I invite you to visit the hotel for the weekend. The experience is designed to accommodate groups of five guests, so I extend the invitation to four friends or family of your choosing. I must insist that this invitation be kept confidential until the hotel is publicly announced. So please only invite guests that you could trust to do so. I hope you can accept my invitation. Please reply to confirm your attendance and the four additional guests that you would like to bring. Should you accept, a limousine will pick you up, make, pick you and your guests up at 7 p.m. this Friday underneath the railway, railway bridge at the corner of South Wallace Avenue and West 63rd Street, Englewood, Chicago. I'm sure you will find the experience very interesting indeed. Sincerely, Grantham Dubit. From Joseph Morello. Hi, Grantham. Thanks. I'd be delighted to come along. I'm sure I could get my wife and two girls to join me. 
My brother Francis is in town at the minute, so that will make up the five. I trust them with my life, so no sweat over confidentiality. See you on Friday, Joe. Okay. I don't like the music. Let's have like a What happened here? Got trashed. I... No idea. I wonder if that groundskeeper would know where the met went. Wait, what? Oh, wait, was there anything on the back? Hold on. What the hell? <coughs> okay. Hold on, girl. That advances us. There's Joe Morello. They were just here the day before us. Just restored it. Guess we'll go through here. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Blood. Blood. And then Dumet designer. Hey, I found Dumet's business card. <gasps> I think that's all. Blood. Jamie, over here. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm freaking out. Like, it's just blood. Just blood? Are you kidding me? You're jumping to conclusions. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. Odd. What do you want me to say? 
Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Maybe it's our dinner. Okay, I don't really agree with that, but <clears throat> what do you say, dude? Welcome, one and all, to tonight's entertainment. What? Oh, what the fuck? Presented by Grantham Dumet. Can we just Dumet. Back out? What? So he uh, hasn't left. Okay. I don't like. Yeah. Right. FBI. I first met Agent Monday on October 12th, 1997 at O'Hare Airport when I was assigned to welcome him off the plane. I'd actually met him once before at a lecture on criminal behavior given a few weeks prior here in Chicago, but I doubt he remembered me from that. I was pretty nervous as the new kid on the block. I was just out of training and I'd been assigned to drive around this big shot criminal profiler who just cracked the Arkansas case which was all over the national newspapers. My first impressions were that he was tall. Sorry, I wanted to make my camera swallow. Cut out very abruptly. Oh, we were just down here. <clears throat> like this. Zero percento. Caretaker? Help me! Please! Please! Are you. I don't know anything! What happened? Are you okay? Uh. <gasps> what the fuck? Stop! Look! Oh gosh. Oh, it's, just, it's a fucking booby trap. You shift your weight off that plate and. This guy is getting run through by that thing. Oh no. Please. Help. 
Help me. Uh... Join me. Just stay. Maybe it's a test. Hopefully. Take that body so quick. What's happening? What did I do? We need to get the fuck out of here. Now. Charlie. Huh? Let's go. Did did you see him? The mask? What the hell was that? Trapped. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On uh, three. It's not gonna work. One, two, three. Uh, uh. <coughs> Sounds like motors. Yes. What is happening? Find your spirit crystal? Don't do that. And don't make fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and, you know, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. It, it helps keep you calm by blanketing you <clears throat> in protective energy. I know. I remember. If you know, then don't Rude. call it a rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. Uh. Maybe you're right. But you don't have to be an asshole about it. Okay, maybe that was a shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't the time or place to... I have to tell you something. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job, not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn, Fine Arts. He wanted a partner. <laughs> That's your dream. Yeah. There is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you'd tell me it was insane, rightfully. Because it would be. Why the hell didn't you go for it? Why didn't you tell me? Things were already starting don't to blame get it on tough her. for us. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. Yeah. This is all you. I know. I turned it down because hmm. it would have taken me away from you. I, I guess I didn't even think of that. I, I just, uh, What do you want me to say? Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. You should have said all this before. I know. I'm not going through it all again. What if this time is different? Oh, come on. That's not likely, and you know it. Sorry. I guess I'm a little confused. We better go. Let's get back to Aaron and get the fuck out time. of here. Take it. Do you think they found Dumet? Charles seems hell-bent on talking to him, so maybe, yeah. 
Wonder how much pure amethyst is going for online these days. Keep Who's going around locking these doors? Dumet. His uh, little helper in the yellow coat. Wait. What's that? Is this somebody's idea of a fucking joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? No. Is that her? Yeah. Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. That's him. What? That's him. The guy in the back. You know him? He kind of did. He was just one of those guys that was always around. We would be at <coughs> some of the same parties, but that's it. It was my fault. You know, that's not true. The night it happened, I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. Can't blame yourself true. for that. It was a big deal on campus not to go out on your own. And Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and that's when, they, that's when he got her. It's okay. It's not fucking okay. It can't be. I have to live with it every day, and now someone knows. Someone wanted me to find this. What the hell is that? I have no idea. But I feel like it's bad. What the hell? Get over here, now! Charlie! Oh, shit. Uh, oh. Go, 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 go. I can't hold this. You have to get the fuck out any way you can. Just get the fuck out now! Uh, Jamie! Charlie! What the hell just happened? I, I don't know, but I think it's really, really bad. Uh, it isn't moving. So now what? We're fucked. That has to be a way around. Yeah, maintenance corridors, crawl space, has to be. Uh, <gasps> uh, What's going on? Demet, what the hell is going on with all this He was nervous the whole way here. I chalked it up to him just being eccentric. There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. Definitely a lot of miles between. Let's think about this. You saw Dumet take off. So maybe he found out there was a killer and bugged out? Maybe. Or perhaps the man we met wasn't actually Dumet. And the dude in the mask is? Is it the last guy who was there? The uh, guy who brought his that contraption, daughter? That's a hell of a lot to set up. That was planned out, every bit of it. It was set up for us to find. Which makes it even more likely the dude on the ferry wasn't really the Met. Okay, we just walked through here, right? Yeah, we just did a big circle.
Mother fucker. What? Brick wall. Keep going. Just like Holmes. I know. I don't want to think about it. I could, like hear the door sliding and moving. I'm trying to map this in my head, but I think Erin's room has been completely cut off. Jesus, Charlie. Why is he messing with her? Because she's the most easily frightened, the most vulnerable. Don't you watch our show? Keep. That's what these sociopaths do. down the creepy corridor. Oh, what the fuck? Is that a kid? Oh, good. You hear creepy kid voice too. I was worried I was finally snapping. Where's it coming from? Like that's another team leader. I haven't found one of these in a while. Okay. Charlie, come here. How's it get this open? at all. Oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're in a bloody nesting doll. What? A Russian nesting doll. You know? A doll in a doll in a doll. Are you losing your <laughs> shit? Because I don't need that right now. We're locked in a kitchen, trapped in a hotel, stranded on an island. Even if we get out of this room... How do we get out of the hotel? Exactly. Or off the island. Maybe we just focus on one thing at a time. This room first. You're Natalie right. Natalie Morello. Of Natalie Morello. Oh, are you... Ugh, fuck! Holy shit! It, it's a fucking body! You think? Meet the last party that visited this hotel. You don't know that. Charlie, I found a way out, maybe. Look, this one swings out. We can probably force it easier than the others. Stand back. That's not what I was expecting. Ah, Amy! Ah! I know somebody was in there. I... I... can't... They gotta hear this. 
Wait. Guys? Hello? Hey! Charlie? Mark? Jamie? <clears throat> Super dusty. Oh, come on, come on. Stop being such a damn wimp. Treatment for what? Ash Institute? Jesus, Charlie, the kitty. Well, fuck you, Jamie. We need to look through this first before we go to the dead bodies. Dear Miss Mundy, I've tried to contact you by telephone for a number of weeks regarding your son's behavior. Hector has been lashing out frequently at other children in an aggressive and threatening manner during Joe class this week. His teacher noticed that he had come to school with severe bruising on his leg. We're very concerned about his welfare. Okay. Is that our possible killer? H. H. Holmes. Okay. I don't know why I thought I was going to see something in the mirror. Time. You trying to get on my good side or something? Yeah, I'll, uh, I think I'll save him. What, no questions? What's going on with you, Monday? Oh, you seem different. Ah, <laughs> I see that glimmer in your eye, you little devil. 
I can keep secrets, man. We all have them. That prosecutor is trying to get numbers out of me. You know that? Of course you know that. Numbers. They got Holmes for 27. But we know he was closer to 200, right? Can you imagine that? I wish oh, okay. I had the time to try and beat that. Sure, they know about those nice realtor ladies. They got families, after all. But the numbers the DA is asking me about? I think he knows there's some people out there, rejects, misfits, the kind of people that when you see them coming, you look the other way. Does anyone notice if they go missing? My father always told me to leave my mark on the world. I never knew what he meant by that. Not until I watched that first Gosh. girl bleed out. I call it art. That's my signature on society. It's not murder. It's an aesthetic response to what this world has made me. Ask people to list serial killers, and they'll drop five, ten on you before they can think of any more. Ask them to name the detectives that caught those killers. No one is going to say a damn thing. No one knows. No one cares. No one makes movies about them. No one puts their faces on t-shirts. No one gives a shit. I've left my mark on the world. Have you? It's not disturbing at all. I mean, it's... Okay. <coughs> there we go. Creepy ass shit. Oh, what the hell? It's new. Don't touch him. What is going on? Where are you? I don't... Just listen. Listen. There's a cupboard in there. You have to get inside right now. What are you talking about? Just hide, Aaron. Why are you telling me this? What's happening? Okay. Aaron, I trust now. you. Just trust me, okay? <gasps> go, go, go. Go, go, go. Just go. Trust Jamie. Hide.
Charlie? Jamie? Hello? Where the hell are they? Hopefully somewhere safe, wondering where the hell we are. Kate, okay. check this out. What is going on? <laughs> are, yep. Are we locked in here? Looks like it, yeah. Wait. Shh. What? Shh. You hear that? Is that them? Where's it coming from? Somebody's in the restaurant. What's the plan, Charlie? You end up dead. I'd like to toast all of you. Really? Heck. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. What the fuck is this? Mark, what are you doing? Just stay back from it. Relax. So, it's a bunch of mannequins dressed like us. Weird? Yes. Cause to lose or shit? No. Okay, this is fucked up. What the hell is going on? Even like me and their necklaces and everything. Jesus. It looks just like him. No way somebody just threw these together like in the knew. last couple of hours. You hear that? Footsteps. And they're getting closer. But Watch out. Why would he invite us here and dinner and then just leave? Sorry, girl. <coughs> oh, shit. Jamie. What's going on? Sorry, I thought... Jesus. What are those things? Oh, my God. When that wall shut, I... I'm just glad you're okay. Demet killed his groundskeeper. What? Right in front of us. Demet? It's a setup. He was wearing a mask, and I know how that sounds, but I'm not joking, and now he's after Aaron, so we need to move. Wait, hang on. Where's Charlie? I don't know. We got separated. No way this is happening. You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side Are you of the fucking lake, kidding me? Bodies dead. Jesus, dead. shut bodies. it up! Is that a real eye? Who was that? This... It's fake. A prop, or oh from an gosh. animal or something. It has to Does be. Does he kill people and put them in the mannequins? No, no, no. Like no, that no, House no, of Wax movie? Oh god. Girl, don't touch that. Oh! Oh, it's real! It's fucking real! I told you! This was all too much! Let's get out of here. Do not get separated again. Oh, it's 
locked. What's going on? The door I came through is locked too. Do men. You wanna play around? Get out here. Right now. Let's fucking play! Okay, everyone, so I am going to head and um, end this uh, video here. It's been about an hour. I want to try and keep like each episode around an hour or so. Um, so I might try and just record a second one from here. Um, or maybe just do one tomorrow just because I'm not feeling good. And hopefully I feel a little better tomorrow and I'm able to, uh, you know, do a little better. So, um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your guys' support and watching this. Um, I'm excited to start posting a little bit more just on YouTube. Um, so I want to do a little bit different content, like, um, posting, you know, what I'm looking forward for as far as video games in 2023. Um, and maybe like game reviews after I, finish a game or a playthrough. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below, uh, what kind of content you guys would like to see. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. Bye.